what I'm doing right now. Um, last time we got into copyright versus trademark. I didn't go into great detail, but I did leave links there so you can find out a little bit more information. Another question that I got, really the <clears throat> the main question that I got um, on my Facebook page, which I'm not acting like I got a thousand people running around on the Facebook page as, asking me questions, but was how do I start a business? And that's one of those questions that's just so broad that it, it becomes really difficult for you to answer it in one kind of fell swoop. So I figured I'd do a really short video and jump into the idea of how do I start a business? Um, more, Really, the question shouldn't be, how do I start a business? The question should be, what do you really enjoy doing? Because you have to decide if you want to spend your time starting a business just simply to make money, or if you want to start a business that uh, will cater to the things that you love doing, right? So this is what you're going to have to do. <clears throat> you're going to have to sit down and uh, write out pros and cons. And you're going to have to say, these are the things that I love. These are the things that I know how to do that I have experience doing. Um, this is the stuff that I really uh, take pride in. But right now, I'm not being paid for it. More than likely, the person that asked the question is, how do I start a business already has a job. So they're going to have to wake up in the morning and they're going to have to find time. But um, in my book, One Hour to Wealth, which a lot of people think is about money and it's not. So if you read the book, you'll get that it's not about wealth in the traditional sense. Um, what I talk about is taking one hour a day and then I expand on that and I do the 30 day project, which is my second book. I talk about doing one hour a day on that thing that you love or something that you want to accomplish one hour a day for 30 days straight. But take one hour a day and before you even start looking at the process of starting of, of beginning a business or trying to start a business, take one hour a day and write down the pros and cons, write down different ideas, write down everything that you can think about and then start ranking those things. Kind of like if you're doing an outline and you're creating a paragraph and you have to build that paragraph according to like the three, five structure, topic sentence, three supporting points and uh, your conclusion or your transitional sentence to the next paragraph. You need these kind of rank points that make the paragraph kind of seamless. But what you're doing is you're going to sit down and you're going to rank those things. And the things that tend to be at the top, that's what you're going to start focusing on and saying to yourself, OK, well, how do I make this into a business? Um, but the biggest issue that I want to get out of this part of the first video and what I guess I'll call a series of starting a business is um, make it your hobby first. Um, you'll see a lot of people who are prominent who are really, uh, they have a lot of followers and they tell people how to uh, start a business that you need to dive in full fledged. That's bullshit. Don't do that. Don't jump in full fledged. You got a job, keep your fucking job. All right. Now you keep your job because it gives you a source of income to try out different things. Um, at the same time, um, it gives you some flexibility in losing because you are going to lose when you start a business. All right. But make it your hobby. Make it something that you do on the weekends or make it something that you can do after work. I don't you know, I don't care how tired you are. If you're saying that you want to start a business, um, then you need to go ahead and invest at least an hour a day on it. But if you make it your hobby, you can still get the tax benefits of creating a business. Um, and the reason I bring this up is because I, I saw an old student of mine had started a company. And the first thing he did was he ran out and got a business license. I said, damn. He should have talked to me before he did that. That's probably one of the worst things you can do is to run out and get a business license. If it's a hobby, you don't need a business license. You can go to a flea market. You can sell stuff. You don't need a business license. You can sit to the side and do this as a hobby, and you can still get some of the tax write-offs that you would get as a business. But you don't have that business certificate. And the reason I bring up the business certificate is this, and this is the main point before I close out this segment. If you have that business certificate, you now have you now have to have a place of business on that business certificate. That means that you're going to get a property tax bill every quarter. So now all of a sudden, you're going to start having to pay for your business that you should have started as a hobby. Hopefully you get what I'm saying here. All right. I'm not saying don't go get a business license. I'm saying once you're starting this business, keep it as a hobby. Keep it as a hobby. Do it on the weekends. Do it part time. You can get really good and efficient at what you're doing part time. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. So this is the first step 
and getting into this idea of how do I start a business. I don't want to run too long. I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to stop right there. And then I'm going to come back and try and hit on another point in the next segment. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Facebook, um, ARCH Footwear, ARC Footwear. And that's an ARC and CBP page. But you can visit the websites. You can drop me a line. You can ask me more questions. You can talk in the comments. Whatever. It's all good. I look forward to hearing from you. And hopefully you understand where I'm coming from with this video. Peace.